Hey Year 12s, this is uh, Mr. Lim again. This is the second video on esters, the production of esters. This video is kind of long, so we'll try and uh, make this one a bit faster. Okay, so we're going to learn how esters are made, what are their reactants, what are their products, that kind of stuff. Okay, so um, esters are formed by the process of esterification. Duh. It's uh, classified as a condensation reaction because you make water as well from it. Okay, so what you need to do is you need a carboxylic acid and an alcohol to form uh, ester and water. Okay, so let's try putting methanol and methan and ethanoic acid together. Okay, so methanol, nice and easy. Ethanoic acid, nice and easy. Okay, so what's going to happen is that you're going to put these two together and they're going to form the ester. And in doing so, you need to make a water molecule out of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove that hydrogen there and that hydrogen and oxygen there and they're going to come together to form a water molecule, H2O. All right. However, it's also going to form, the leftovers are going to form an ester. So what's going to happen is that this part here, that part there, is going to swing around and attach to that part there. And what you're going to end up with is something that looks like this, where it's going to be C, C, O, Okay, that's from the ethanoic acid, that's that part there, all right, and then the, uh, oops, missed out that alcohol there, missed out that oxygen there, okay, uh, and then it's going to add on that apart from the alcohol there, okay, and so you can already see that you've got an R and an R dash group here on either side of the ester group, okay, and so that's how uh, these things work. The alcohol forms the R dash group, and the carboxylic acid forms the R group. Okay, and so that's how uh, you would uh, make the substance, and that's why this is called this substance that you've just made is called methyl from the methanol, uh, ethanoate from the ethanoic acid, methyl ethanoate from the R dash and from the R group from the alcohol and from the carboxylic acid. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Other things. Okay, so let's do one propanol and methanoic acid. So one propanol, that's remember, the alcohol makes the R dash and the meth and the carboxylic acid makes the R. So we're gonna put draw that in those appropriate colors. One propanol plus methanoic acid Okay, makes, let's put this together, let's get rid of this OH, let's get rid of that H, okay, they form water, okay, and then this oxygen here sticks on the end there, okay, now really it doesn't really make that much of a difference whether it's this oxygen or that oxygen, but the point is that an oxygen is there somewhere, all right, and so where did that oxygen go? So that uh, the carboxylic acid part is there, all right, uh, with a the hydrogen there, and then the alcohol part is there, okay, making that propyl methanoate. Propyl for the R dash group, okay, with refrain from propanol and methanoic acid, okay. Um, so that was fairly easy with a primary alcohol. Now we're going to have a look at what it looks like with a secondary alcohol, which will make things a little bit different. Okay, so 2-propanol, nice and easy. Methanoic acid, nice and easy. We just did that. Okay, put them together and what do you get? So remembering that you knock off a um, hydrogen there. Uh, and an oxygen there and a hydrogen there to make water, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to have to stick this end there and attach it to that bond there. So let's draw this one out, that's easy enough. Okay, that's the uh, methanoate part. But when you draw this here, you're going to have to connect it to this carbon there in the middle. So that carbon has to be the carbon in the middle, okay? So that's gotta be that B carbon, okay? It's gotta be the B, yeah. 
okay? Which means that it's bonded to an A, that A carbon and that C carbon, okay? So because that's been stuck in the middle, that's gonna have an unusual name, okay? It's gonna have a side group name as well. So this is going to be methyl for that side group there. Where is that methyl group gonna be? On the one. And really, there's nowhere else can it, it can be because it's not as if it can be on that one there because then it would just add length to the chain. So this is going to be called methyl ethyl methanoate. Methyl ethyl for that, that part there. And ethanoate for the carboxylic acid part. Methyl ethyl ethanoate. Okay. Um, and that water. Okay. So when you have a secondary alcohol, you have to think about where is this alcohol group, wherever that alcohol group is, whichever carbon that alcohol group is stuck with, that's that carbon that's going to attach um, to that ester, or to the carboxylic acid to make the ester. Right, 2-butanol and methyl methylpropanoic acid. Ugh. Okay, you have a go at drawing that. Uh, I don't have time to draw it. Come and ask if you don't understand how to do it. Um, esterification takes place uh, in the presence of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid acts like a catalyst because it increases the rate of reaction but not consumed. Okay, just uh, something else to remember. And then let's go work out what these things came from. So here is your ester group. Which side is the R dash? It's this side here. And if you remember, that comes from the alcohol. And then this is the R group, which comes from the carboxylic acid. Okay, so the carboxylic acid would have one, two, three, four carbons. Okay, making that butanoic acid, butanoic acid, okay, and then this one here, it's got one, two, three, four, okay, and this is the carbon that the alcohol must be attached to, so you've got one, two, three, four, you draw this one with the uh, alcohol there, and therefore this is one butanol, one butanol, all right, so it's important to recognize that this carbon is the one that is has the um, alcohol attached to because that's the carbon that is attached to, uh, to the ester group in the middle. All right, and then let's have a look at this one here. Okay, this one's a bit fun. Here is my, oh, well, which side is my R group on? Here's my ester. My R group must be on this side because it's got the carbon with the double bond over. Okay, and my R dash group, oops. My R dash group is on this side. You have a go at naming this. It looks like it's uh, methyl propanoic acid and uh, three methyl butanol. All right, that's it.